All right, let's go ahead and finish that attachment for our follow focus. Mainly this part here that goes on top of the camera. Now, obviously the one we had made previously is not exactly suitable for production purposes. Being a bit bendy and flexible with uh, a lot of slack in the middle. But we can still iterate on it and get a better design in the end. So let's first fix that uh, flexibility by increasing the thickness of the part. We'll also need a slightly longer bolt. And one little trick is that you don't need to 3D print the whole thread. You can just put a spacer and print that with a much coarser resolution than the fine one for the thread. Now let's assemble that. But while the flexing is fixed, there's a second problem, mainly that the 3D printed nut can't really be tightened all the way. And even if you really push it, it'll still be very slippy. And that's something we really don't want, because then the gears won't mesh well, and we won't be able to use the knob at all. Now, the simplest solution, just put two bolts next to each other. That'll keep the part from rotating when it's not supposed to. I did, however, have to make the holder slightly taller, because we wouldn't be able to adjust the attachment once it's uh, on the camera. Now, you've probably seen in this particular piece has a small issue. But while the first cylinder is nice and smooth and even better, the second one isn't so lucky. And that's not the kind of problem that's fixed with a wee bit of sanding, so we'll have to rethink our approach. The simplest solution to get some flawless shafts was just to print it all in separate pieces and then glue them all together. Some Gorilla Glue later, there's our part. And as you can see, there is indeed a small improvement in the quality of the cylinder. Now let's assemble the holder with a camera attachment. I swapped the 3D printed bolts for my favorite method, which is uh, press fitted uh, rods. They won't go in all the way, so we gotta do a bit of sanding. But that was taking way too long for my patience, so I decided to go with a more subtle method, smashing it with a hammer until it goes all the way through. On the bright side, we got rid of our flexing problem. Now let's just put these two caps in. They're mostly for aesthetic purposes, because no one really wants to see those rods. And it just dawned on me that without the cylinders, I could have just 3D printed that as a single part, because there's no need to lay it flat on the other side. But in the end, with the shafts glued back in, it's working and ready to be tested by attaching it to the camera. Later on I might add a little handle to the knob, but let's see if it works. Well, there is some play with the gears, it's not too bad, and it does indeed do what it's supposed to do. So with that in mind, I'll see you next time.